Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a BIOS update on the MSI B460M Mortar Wi Fi. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to do a BIOS flash on the MSI B460M Mortar Wi Fi. Now, this is particularly relevant at the moment. There is an update soon to NVIDIA cards which will allow the resizable bar feature, which essentially will squeeze a little bit more performance out of your NVIDIA graphics cards and potentially some AMD cards also. The latest BIOS, which is available, is a beta BIOS. So I figured we'd do a quick flash on the board, see what it's like, and actually see what the difference is before the actual BIOS update on the NVIDIA cards is available or until it's completely ruled out. For me, it's going to be really interesting to see actually if the BIOS update makes any difference at all. Now to preempt this, I'll actually run Firestrike on the PC, just a simple benchmark just to see what the score was and to get a kind of like a base reading. I'm going to do the BIOS flash, rerun the test and see if there's actually any improvement overall for the system or whether it's just one of those things where we're getting ready until the actual feature is fully enabled. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to go to a PC and plug in a USB flash drive. Luckily I've got one here, so let's make sure that's plugged in. And there we go, there's our Kingston drive, which is empty, but we're going to make sure it's okay. So go into format, first of all, set the capacity as standard, FAT32 is important, and the default allocation size, and then we'll do a quick format. Click OK, there we go. Bada bing, format complete. So the next thing we need to do is to actually find our BIOS. So in order to do that, we're going to go to MSI's website. So msi.com, and then we're going to find our particular board. So in this instance, it is the B460M. So that is a motherboard, and it's part of the MAG series, and it is a B460. And that's the one there. So obviously, if you've got a similar board, there's the Mortar version and also the Mortar Wi-Fi. Do make sure you're getting the right one, because uh, otherwise it could end up being a very costly mistake. So this is the one we want, and you can do kind of like a, a quick visual just to make sure that it is actually the same board as you've got. So yeah, that's all fine. So what we're going to do is go into support. Got the options here for the tabs, BIOS, driver, manual, utility. Luckily it's in BIOS already, so that's excellent. So what we can do, the BIOS I've actually got at the moment is this version here, version 13, I believe it is. And that was a little while ago. Actually, on the BIOS, it does record it as being slightly earlier than that. But anyway, hey ho. So the latest one is this beta version, which basically adds support for the resizable bar function to enhance GPU performance. So we're going to download that. So click on the arrow on the far side and choose a place to download it to. So let's download it directly to the USB stick. And that shouldn't take too long at all. And as you can see at the bottom there, that's done. So now we can choose show in folder. And this folder is compressed. So what we're gonna to need to do is to right click, then choose extract all, and just extract it into the same location. And then that should give us a folder with the BIOS in. Now what I generally tend to do, I don't think you have to do this, but for me, I just like to do it. So that is select the files, right click, choose cut, and go up to the root of the drive, and choose paste and then we can get rid of the other files that we're not using so get rid of that one get rid of that one so basically we've got a clean drive other than a text document and also the BIOS file itself so now we've got that we can restart into the BIOS now there's a couple of options you can do with that if you want to you can press and hold the shift button on the left so when you go up to power you can go to shutdown or restart or basically go to restart hold the shift key and then press restart and it will go into your BIOS, or you can just tap the delete key whilst you're rebooting. So I'm just gonna close down these windows and I'm just gonna do a normal reboot. So restart, and then as it starts restarting, then we'll be pressing the delete key to get into the BIOS. Now we're gonna just keep on pressing the delete key until you get your BIOS. So now we're in the main BIOS. And what we can do is go into M flash, which is the probably the easiest way of doing it. You can do it in two versions. There's the advanced BIOS, so you can go M flash there, or if you're in easy mode, you can choose M flash. Both do essentially the same thing. So it says system will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? So make sure obviously you've still got your USB drive in there. 
and that you're all ready. So once you're ready, press yes. And the system will cut out. As you can see on the screen now, it says no signal. And the machine will boot up. You don't need to press or touch anything. Just let it do its own thing and it'll boot up into the BIOS flashing mode, which hopefully we should see on the screen shortly. And there we go, enter flash mode is on the screen. And we're straight into M flash. So it's picked up the Kingston Data Traveler th USB 3.0 drive. And there we can see there is our BIOS file. So currently, as you can see, the current BIOS is version 1.3 and we can put in the newer one. So it's actually um, quite a new version. So that's the 3rd of December, 2020, and that was the 7th of October, 2020. So we're gonna choose that one, just click on it, and it'll say, are you sure you want to select this file? And yes, we are. And now all we need to do is just uh, wait for it to do the flash. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Obviously we will probably try and fast forward through this to save boring you to tears. I will actually time it roughly just so you've got an idea if, if yours is uh, taking too long or whatever. So when it's uh, finished flashing, the system will power off automatically and then reboot shortly after. That's taken roughly about a minute, minute and a half, not very long at all. So booting back up. Now at this point you can, if you want to, go straight into the BIOS and press delete to make any changes, all that kind of stuff. And there we go, back into Windows. Awesome stuff. So there we go, there is the uh, the BIOS flashed and now I'm gonna go off and do some testing to see if actually there is any difference already and if this BIOS actually has any performance improvements overall. So we'll be right back straight after this. Okay, so the BIOS flash is done and was successful and we've actually gone into the BIOS as well to enable the resizable bar feature, which uh, hopefully you'll be seeing on the screen now as I'm talking. And that was really simple to do. They just added a new section into the BIOS. Very easy to do. So all we can do then is run some benchmarks. So I've actually run 3 Mark on it and you can see the results side by side. So I'll put them 50-50 uh, so you can see the results. Also as well, the NVIDIA kind of performance analyst thing is going, so you can check out the differences there. It is very subtle, and to be completely honest with you, the differences between the BOSS pre-flash and flashed is very minimal. Obviously, you can take a look at the finer details of the two bench test runs to see what the differences are, but it's very, very minimal. And I think the end result was roughly about 100, 150 points different. So although obviously at the moment, the graphics card as it stands as of today's recording date, there isn't really an update for the actual graphics card to actually use that feature. I was wondering if it would make any difference at all overall to the system, and yes, it is extremely minimal, and certainly within the margin of error between runs. It is actually a little bit higher, so take that as you will. But hopefully you've learned how to flash your bars now, so if you're trying to do it for yourself, you've got a little bit more confidence. And if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you like this kind of content, click on the subscribe button, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.